Good morning, dear friends from the holy city of Tzfat. You know, Einstein was a great researcher. Every good scientist is not somebody who thinks he knows what reality is, but he's looking to discover what reality is. And he was a very, very, very big believer in God. In fact, he said, my entire quest in science is to understand the mind of God. And he said, we don't understand God, but when, or to, more accurately, he said, we don't understand the secret of the old boss. That's how people sometimes referred to God in the olden days. But when we do discover it, I'm sure it will be both simple and beautiful. And my friends, this is the truth. Reality is both simple and beautiful. It is simple because it is about love. It's about the love of a creator for his creation. Just like if you made a child, you'd love the child so much. It is about the desire of the creator to connect to his creation. Similarly, if you have a child, you want to give to your child. You want to help direct your child. You want to make your child's life good physically and spiritually. And that's what God wants. But it is also beautiful. There's a lady, I'm not sure, I forgot her name. She literally went around the whole world seeking the truth. And she said the truth consists of two things, or what she discovered. I forgot one of them, but the other was beauty. And I never really understood that. Beauty, I thought, oh, well, that's just a kind of, I don't know, a feminine thing, looking for beauty. But then I did understand. No, it really does consist of beauty. Because what is beauty? If you have one color on a piece of paper, it's not beautiful. But what if you have a billion colors? It's unbelievable. And so this world is filled with billions of people. And when each person compliments the other person, when we realize that the Creator being unlimited, created unlimited amounts of different people and bugs and things, and each one of these things is part of the entire ecosystem. We complement each other. When a man realizes he can do what a woman can't do, male brains and female brains are different. Males excel more in bravery and also in mathematics, in innovation. And women, they excel more in language and relationship skills and in nurturing. In fact, even the way we react to stress is different. Males produce adrenaline and uh, females produce oxytocin. One is a fight flight, the other is a kind of a cuddle hug, be protected. So we're, we're, we're talking about different species. But these different species complement each other in love, in marriage, in having children. These are the things that make the world a beautiful place. And there's a very great evil in this world, which is the evil of basically nihilism. It's people that hate themselves and effectively would like to, they're, they're kind of subconsciously depressed. They're activated only through fear and anger. And therefore they come up with these theories which behind all these theories is the self-destruction or the destruction of others. Whether it's Hitler, whether it's the crazy theories in the left of not to have children, to get rid of um, Jews and money and all these things. It's all about jealousy and a self-destructiveness, which we see clearly. That the societies, that people are raised in these societies, the suicide rate is out of the roof. The relationships are, it's the anxiety rate, it's crazy. And the societies that bought into the biblical wisdom are much healthier, much better off. So now we stand with basically the truth. The truth is that the world is simple. It's a relationship between God and you. And that relationship is also infinite. God is unlimited. He can always help you grow. As well as the beauty that you are not the story, you are part of the story. We are all part of his story, and we are all infinitely going to grow together, realizing our individuality and commonality simultaneously. Thank you so much.